Hello people of internet! This is the KDE Tea Time crew coming to you at a slightly later time. So we decided to name it a beer time this time. time. Um, yeah, Alex wants to pee for some reason. <laughs> In case you wanted to share. Yeah? Uh, Jeff, when you empty that jar. Oh, yeah. Uh, holy. Okay. I thought you did that before we started this. Well, we what are you doing? <laughs> I'm glad how we've come back with a much more professional, less shitty start. Won't be shown on BBC. That's where one of our New Year's resolution. Let's try to make this more serious. Yep, we are total professionals trained by North Korean monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, in this installment of KDT time slash beer time, uh, we will tell you something about the upcoming KDE frameworks. Or, oh, it's already oh, sorry, it's already released. Uh, uh, nope. <laughs> well, frameworks are not released. So far we've released a technical preview of frameworks which explains what frameworks is going to be and allow developers to start porting their applications to frameworks or to start using frameworks in their existing projects. Was I supposed to say that? So what's the difference between a technical preview and an actual release then? Well, uh, when we make the final release, we're going to guarantee ABI stability for a long time, meaning that as we upgrade and add things, your product which was compiled with the first real release of KD frameworks, it will still continue to work. Whereas a technical preview, we're still working out a few things and things will change. Yep. Which is actually why it would be nice to have some more applications using it, so we can decide what to put in there, what to remove, yep. what to change before we cannot change anything. Which, if you take, if you stop to think about it, the moment we do the final release will mean we cannot change things in like five years, six. Well, we can add things, we cannot break things. And yeah. we have to go through the annoying process of deprecating functions and then supporting them for a long time because ABI stability has to be guaranteed. So we skipped a step really. So frameworks is a continuation of KD Libs in versions KD 1, 2, and 3. Uh, because KD is expanding into doing not four and four. Did you put a damn tick out. See, it sounds better as a list of three. <laughs> so I thought I'll make this sound better by not having facts. So um, we split all our lives out, and it's our only time every five years to change things. So there's a lot of thought that goes into it, and a lot of us hacking without a clue what we're doing, which went well quite well. So. Do you all have something that you like about Framework? Does Framework make you excited? It really makes me excited because there are many, like as a, myself, I have some applications that are not open source. Yeah, I work on in the, in the past and I was not able to use all the stuff we have, or we have in Kililips. And without depending on the whole thing, right? Do you imagine going to a customer and say, yeah, you're a small application that was supposed to be two, mega, two megabyte size and fit in your phone, yeah, now we are going to drag MySQL, Virtuoso, Network, yeah, that's not something you're going to sell, right? Sure, um, blame me. <laughs> we should be good to explain and, what's changed in frameworks. Yeah, and, and with frameworks, we have cut everything into pieces, so we've got our scalpel and try to remove everything that was not needed, and what was needed, try to make smaller packages. I don't like a scalpel metaphor, because that implies that as a surgeon, you would chop your patient into very tiny pieces. Uh, how you do amputation, right? I like a butcher. You don't die some amputations. Well, amputations is about removing something that is rotted and that is going to make the rest of the body sick. But we're just putting them into small packages. We're we we offering them to people. Well. Well, we cut some stuff out, but we're still cutting them into small pieces okay, and okay. offering them to people. Oh, yeah, okay, so, so what's better? A scissors? We cut it with scissors. And butchers. Okay. It's, it's an, it's butchers. A, okay, so we are butchers now. Why do we have to be butchers? Let's think about chocolate, and you are splitting the chocolate into small squares. But there's no time for everyone can enjoy a bit of chocolate. Who is the person who cuts chocolates into small pieces? Is that a profession? Chocolate Me. cutter. A chocolate tear. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah chocolate. Let's yeah, eat okay. the whole thing. All right, so we are like you can eat the Yeah, and this is diet mode for people who don't want to have an entire bar of chocolate. We've got a metaphor that fucking works. Yeah. Okay, so now you are able to pick the square of chocolate you like the most. 
Well, some of the squares are bigger than the other squares, and some of the other squares depend on the other squares. <laughs> so you can't just eat the big squares at some time, you need to take the other ones along. Yeah. It's like Wait, dark chocolate sucks in the smaller, lighter chocolate. No, 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 it's like a normal chocolate with nuts and fruits and everything. I didn't like well, then you <laughs> don't get <laughs> not to the KHTML. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's, that's a good so. point. Imagine you have a bar of chocolate which hasn't mixed enough stuff and you don't like nuts. The good thing with frameworks is that you can remove that part of nuts because nuts will be a, a separate square already. So you won't have to do weird things and try to get the nuts out because we will do that for you because we're the chocolate tears. You should move to Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have Swiss chocolate somewhere. You are? Sorry? I heard Swiss chocolates are better. You just instigated a war. Well, but people, I mean, people, people I don't know your stuff. Well, it, it, it shows. Oh, truth is, Swiss, Swiss chocolates are better. Right? So what did you like about frameworks? Well, my favorite thing about frameworks is... I was asking Martin. Oh, fine. My favorite thing about frameworks is that I no longer need to compile KHTML. <laughs> so KHTML was a li li massive library that used to build... It was a web rendering engine. It is. It is, it yeah, still is, yeah. It's we, we what the world is derived from. Exactly, thank you. Yeah. And, link. and basically all modern web. Hey, hey, Fat Coco. Is pretty awesome. Bad Coco. So do you want. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but as it evolved, KHTML became less useful because we ended up with two rendering engines. Yeah. Apple forked it. Well, we don't need to hold a bunch. But in fairness, they still uh, give us credit for <coughs> that. To put it simple, uh, right now, there are applications that use WebKit 1, there are applications that use WebKit 2, and there are applications that use uh, KHTML. So we end up with three things that do more or less the same thing. Um, actually, KHTML, for example, is lighter, so it's way smaller than WebKit. WebKit is a fucking monster, it does everything. So, yeah, um, yeah. right now you can decide, uh, with frameworks, you can decide whether you use KHTML or not. So, Martin, what did you like about frameworks? What I like about frameworks is that uh, now that the whole one whole big package, which was called Klips, is now split into fifty-seven. Now already fifty-eight oh, smaller okay, packages. It makes KDE telepathy seems less worse with our fourteen packages <laughs> because now there is a project which has even more packages. So that's what I like about frameworks. <laughs> oh, so you like frameworks because it makes you look. Better. Yeah, less, less crap. Less. Thank you. By the way, today we released uh, KDE Telepathy 0.7.1. What do you mean? Yes, my frameworks! I'm plugging your application, why not just go? <laughs> oh, and here's my upcoming book. No, no what's her biography called? Well, Living Life as a Genius. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm, happy. <laughs> I'm happy if you use KDE Telepathy for advertising your personal. I'm not! In the middle of the program, you your big! Okay. It's, so, it's a free software! Enough, Thank enough. You. <laughs> so what I like about <coughs> frameworks is that we have a very strict policy regarding frameworks and unlike in KD Libs where stuff, if it's commonly used, would get moved to KD Libs, we actually have a strict policy and we say all frameworks have to be unit tested, they have to follow strict coding style, structure, there should be LGPL, I think that's a hard requirement. So if people are planning to use it in proprietary applications, it's not a problem. So we have nice strict guidelines and maintainers for most of the framework. I can put it simple, we have raised the quality requirement in order to become part of framework, right? So yeah. strict, strict chocolate process. Yeah, yeah, we only eat the best. <laughs> well, we only serve <laughs> the best. And we do eat it. Yeah, but we don't want other people to Oh yes! Well, oh, this is a good thing, we even eat our own chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> our chocolate is just simply good. Uh, I mean the best, sorry. Yeah, and we've been eating our chocolate for years, so you know it tastes good. Let's, let's talk about some practical use cases of this. Uh, one I can think of is VLC, the video player. They were already using LibSolid, which is a library, like, something to ease the use of hardware. And they were really using it when executed in in, in a KDE session. Plasma. And right now they will be able to do that without having to be in KDE. Because solid is going to be such a small thing that they will not care and they will use it everywhere. Which is nice because VLC is used by 
millions of people, if not billions, and all of these people, I hope they will end up using Lipsol, meaning more testing, more quality, and all that will, of course, get reflected into the plasma tube. Similarly, Subsurface, which I recently saw a talk about, uses a star rating, which it, which is meh. Not as good as ours. Not as good as ours. Because it's and been 15 years doing chocolate. We know what we do. <laughs> yeah, and as KDE from the Nepomuk team, we bring you a K rating widget, which doesn't have any Nepomuk dependencies and looks pretty badass. So now Subsurface should use that widget and look more badass. I mean, they're already looking pretty good. They're using Qt. So that's definite improvement. It's interesting to hear you talk about VLC and you talk about <coughs> surface of a Qt application. There are quite lots of other applications like Wireshark and some file manager which isn't as good as Dolphin and several other things moving to Qt. And one of the other things we had to do, as we split up our libraries, we found in order to get the same functionality that you used to get in a Plasma desktop, we can't depend on all the other KDE functions. We had to have this plug-in system in Qt so that when you execute your Qt application, it knows how to talk to other KDE parts. So when you click file open in any Qt application from KDE 5 onwards, it will now, or frameworks onwards, it will now follow a native theme. So if you're in K K running in KDE Plasma, you'll get our normal file open dialog, regardless of whether it's a KDE application. Is that the case? No, it's not. Uh, it's, is it? <laughs> I want to start again. <laughs> well, what is we, we, do, we do have improvements when it comes to cute application integration. So one of the advantages we get, we get new rules. But we are not getting right now with Qt 4. The one advantage we get when um, with frameworks is we added this plugin system into Qt, or a plugin system was built into Qt to allow us to override various things which were previously hard-coded to ask a KD or your running system how to do things. So now, if you have a normal Qt application, it will ask a KD plugin what default shortcut should be and what a default file open dialog should be and various other systems like this, which means when you configure in KDE that copy should be bound to control V just to annoy people. It will affect not just your KDE applications, but any application which was written in Qt and running within KDE. And that's going to be really cool with other applications moving to Qt. Actually, like VLC and Subsurface and... Spotify. Spotify. It doesn't have to be open source, right? Yeah. So you have a Spotify, you have Skype. A Skype, Guitar Pro, something like that? Maya. Maya. Um, actually, I think that uh, binding paste to control C would annoy people more. <laughs> well, Just we, 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 are, we are good at annoying people, but uh, some things... I have a rich history with that. <laughs> <laughs> Something story. useful for this is Mac users are used to use uh, common C and common V. You can change that like kitty wise and you cannot do that with Qt right now. And you will be able to do that with frameworks. So this is called QPA or Qt Platform Integrity. Abstraction. Abstraction. <laughs> I was inviting you to tell a talk at more <coughs> about talk more. How we can now start porting applications. Yeah, uh, it's 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 quite a good time to start to get feedback about each all the frameworks, as some of these people here pointed out. Now we have like twenty something frameworks. How many? Fifty-eight. Yeah, twenty-something. 50. <laughs> oh, nine thousand. You wouldn't believe uh, he actually worked on this. Yeah, I, I just worked on Last a few year? of them. Anyway, uh, the thing is, now the job is done, the hard work is done, but that doesn't mean that we are finished. So the time we have from now until the real release is to improve them, is to test them, is to extend them. For example, uh, if, if you have some freeze in Dolphin, it's probably my fault that's going to be fixing frameworks. And that's something I have to add now. So it's the good time is the right time to get feedback, see what you want us to add, criticize everything, and yeah. However, right. however, you have to keep in mind it's not the final version, and things might change before uh, Frameworks 5 being I mean, released. Yeah, it's, it's so not keep ready. It's, it's, you have to make the port of your application 
thinking like willing to help us that's the right moment to do that if you want to help us you want to give us feedback and you want to experiment with our new stuff it's a good thing to do for example i'm porting camozo and we are recording this video with it download it at camozo.com given that it records that we don't have to record this whole thing all over again <laughs> yeah anyway uh we are porting it and we are by the way this is a third try no it's not sure Oh, it's not. We are following the application. <laughs> we are having lots of fun with it, and we are gathering feedback so we can use that to improve the frameworks. Actually, uh, we have fifty-nine frameworks because Plasma is also now a framework, and I didn't count that one. So and we may add new ones like libreduble, like K-file metadata, and all of KDE Pen is being split up. And frameworks isn't just going to be the traditional libraries, but most libraries under KDE will be known as frameworks to try and have that same scope of allowing other people to integrate a framework into their application. And frameworks is not, is the amount of frameworks we have is not something with Spring or something like that. We, we and you can add your framework into the set of it. For example, uh, the library we use to do Bluetooth stuff might get there. The library we use for networking stuff will probably get uh, end up there. Oh, and so if you have an awesome library to do whatever, just talk to us and well, we are a really welcoming community. Sure, uh, but I don't think there is any reason to actually join frameworks with your own libraries. I mean, you can of course, but well, you can just keep it uh, at your own. <laughs> I mean, okay, so we have a okay, let it, let's do, let's do something like this. From, from now on, I am the ceiling, the ceiling, you put the bridge case, okay? And this is not going to be edited out. This is going in the final version. I hate you guys. Of course you get plenty of things. You become part of one of the most exciting and uh, relevant. relevant communities in Qt. Actually, the only other relevant uh, community, cute community besides cute oh, itself. What you want to talk about desktop environments? <laughs> <laughs> you get, you get to make sure that there is people that will always continue your work because if you do your library and you put it somewhere in GitHub, you might oh. get or you might not get people using it. <laughs> if you put it in the in within frameworks, you will most probably get developers using it. So if tomorrow you get tired, okay. Okay. or you die out of liver failure... As long as it's not a new web sure. okay. 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 okay, okay, What does it mean to put it into frameworks? But it means that KDE applications are actively using it and it comes under the KDE umbrella. Uh, it might, it, they might use, they might not. What it means is you have to uh, agree with the manifest, manifesto? Yes. manifesto, right? Manifesto. Uh, which basically stands what are the... Uh, what the KDE community stands for, for example, we stand for freedom, we stand for uh, having a, a good community to work in, and things like that. You can go to check it out at manifesto.kde.org. And so that... No, in is many different languages. That no, I just thought they like same one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> You get exposure in the Qt world if we do our work correctly, and we will. The any Qt developer will have two places to look for the libraries. One, tutorials, nobody wants to get to go there. And the other one will be frameworks. So close to libsolid, you will have your lib club tech, and all the people that use libsolid will see that something called lib club tech exists, and you will benefit from I am curious what Lib Clapotech is going to involve. I think that's a secret for now. Yeah. So as my beer is almost at the end, I think it's time to say goodbye and good night to all of you who are watching us at night because it's like <laughs> it's like midnight in here. So but this you won't see this for about four days until someone sits and edits it. Yes. So everyone have a good whatever part of day you have right now.